Hi, I'm Rick Garcia, an application scientist here at LiCor. Today I would like to discuss with you reinstalling the flow adjust knob on an LI6400 chemical tube. The knob can become loose as a result of operation, or it may need to be removed for uh, maintenance procedures. Additional maintenance procedures are, can be found in the manual, Book 3, of the LI6400 User's Guide, specifically Chapter 19, which also covers additional maintenance items for the chemical tube. Let's get started. The parts involved with the flow adjust knob are a 1 and 5 8 inch 1032 thread Phillips head screw, a number 10 3 8 inch flat washer, the knurled flow adjust knob, a white plastic flat washer, and the quarter inch 1032 thread set screw. To reinstall the flow adjust knob, you'll need a number 2 Phillips head screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and a 3 30 seconds hex key. Begin by installing and tightening the Phillips head screw. Be sure that the fiber washer is on the screw before installing the screw into the body of the chemical tube. The screw can be installed finger tight first Once the screw is installed finger tight, go ahead and tighten it firmly with the Phillips head screwdriver. Once you have the screw installed, install the white flat plastic washer. Next, you should install the set screw into the neural flow control knob. Only partially install the set screw, then install the neural control knob on the flow control screw. Finger tighten the knob up to the white plastic washer. Mark the knob with a felt pen. Mark the position of the knob. Then back the knob off one half turn. Now you can hold the knob in position with the pliers and tighten the set screw. The set screw needs to be firmly tightened. Once the set screw is tight, you can back the flow control knob off one quarter turn. And now check to see that the knob operates from full bypass to full scrub without coming loose from the Phillips headed screw. I hope this has been helpful. Remember that you always can call us if you need additional help, and you can find a lot of help on our website. Thanks again.